Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Today we're going to do something a little different, as I often do on my channel. The beautiful thing about my channel is that I'm not locked into doing the same thing all the time on YouTube. And some of the things I do not like about YouTube nowadays is that it has become overly commercialized. And it's always about a particular format designed only to make money and sell merch. You know, merchandise. Do you need more merch? I don't think so. I really don't want to become that kind of channel, even if it costs me money personally. In that vein, let's get started talking about what I've done today. 93 years ago this November marks the first commercial release of Steamboat Willie. While this was the third animation treatment involving Mickey Mouse, it was the first cartoon released with sound with wide distribution involving Mickey. Produced by Roy and Walt Disney, it's a piece of American animation history and Steamboat Willie was inducted into the National Film Registry in 1998, as it should be. Due to the historic nature of this film, I was curious if anybody had restored this film and converted it into full color. While there are many partial conversions into color available on YouTube, many of them are overly produced or have non-conforming animation style or are poorly done or perhaps are overly produced that they depart somewhat from the original. I was curious what a color restored original would look like without departing too far from the actual original work, that I was inspired to create this. This entire exercise of this video is to do exactly that and to show you how it was done. While my video editing expertise is not in animation at all, in fact I know very little about it, I was curious if I could be able to colorize this masterpiece with a budget of zero dollars using only common editing software that you, my viewers, might also have. I'll show you how I did this in hopes that at least one of you out there might be inspired on how to do this. It's always fun to learn or try something new, and I'm amazed at how this turned out, as you will soon see. Many of you own a PC computer with Microsoft software loaded onto it when you purchased it, and I can report that this entire video was produced only using the basic, not the pro version of Vegas and Paint which is usually included on most PC computers. Yeah, if you check your computer, you got paint somewhere on there, in all likelihood. And most computers sold in the last 10 or 15 years have paint. While I actually own the pro version of Vegas, you will not need it if you decide to restore any old black and white video animation. Any old studio version of Vegas will do. There's also many other programs that will also work. I'm gonna walk you through how I did it, and you can do it too, if you want to. The first step is to download the original black and white version of Steamboat Willie or maybe pick a different video that's black and white that's old. You can do this on any video. You can Google how to download video from YouTube on your computer because I'm not going to teach you how to do that. That's pretty basic. Sorry, I don't have time to explain that right now. The second thing you're going to have to do is get some software such as Vegas Studio or Vegas Pro and ensure that it's able to render an image sequence. It doesn't really matter what kind of video software you got, as long as it can render into an image sequence. I'll explain that. You need to break down each and every frame of the video for manual colorization. Typically, you will have 24 frames per second for film and around 30 seconds per frame for TV in North America. Since I already own the latest version of Vegas Pro, I cheated a little to see how the cartoon would look if I colorized it with that software. The latest version of Vegas will colorize black and white video, but it works fairly well with people and scenery, but not so well with animation. The AI built into the software really has a hard time deciding how color animation should look like. As it should, because it's just animation, it's not reality, right? So as expected, the results were not that great, but it did provide some brown backgrounds of the wooden boat. This was not good enough, so I wondered, how could I colorize it even better? And I wanted to do that with a zero budget to make it convincing that anybody could do it. The answer was using software Paint, which is included on most PCs that have Microsoft. And I almost never use that software anyway. I decided to strip a scene down to its essential frames and manually colorize it using paint. This is an example of what a partially colorized frame looks like. While the work is slow and time consuming, it's not hard. I decided to restore a tiny portion of the film using this exact technique. 
frame by frame I colorized. Once I had a section that I could provide the proof of concept I was looking for, I reassembled the frames back into Vegas to see what they looked like. First I'll show you the section I did in repeating loops of the original black and white animation, then the results with the poorly colored Vegas rendering, then the entire frames colored from paint and rendered back into Vegas. The results are not bad considering I have zero experience in animation or coloring. And I did not over colorize or reanimate the sequence. I think the results are close to the original animation and what they might have looked like in 1928. Yeah, 1928. <laughs> That's a long time ago, my friends. If they would have had the ability to not only film in color, but also distribute the film in a color projection theater with sound, which was not yet commercially available. So that's it. Post your questions and comments, and I hope it inspires at least one of you to try and restore some of these vintage black and white animations. All it takes is time. Just in case you're wondering, the original film, if converted at 30 frames per second, requires the colorization of over, get this, 13,000 frames. <laughs> yes, you could do it, but it would take one person weeks or even months to do it well. Just warning you. But it was a fun exercise and I really think I used restraint on not over editing or over colorizing it. After all, if you renovate a house more than 90%, is it even really the same house? I don't think so. So I didn't want to go too crazy on the editing because I've seen a few examples where everything was too sharp, too slick, too modern and really departed from the original and I did not want to do that here. So I think I achieved my results that I was looking for. This film, Steamboat Willie, will fall into the public domain in January 1st, 2024. So anyone will be able to commercially colorize it then, although the trademark and intellectual property of Mickey Mouse will remain the property of whoever or whatever corporation owns the character at that time. Maybe I'll have time over the next 26 months or so to fully colorize those 13,000 frames by then, unless someone does it first. I just hope whoever does it keeps close to the Disney way of things and uses some restraint in the color and animation process. Post your comments down below, and as always, stay safe and keep your wheels on the ground. Over and out. I got you, I got you, I got you